Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is a video from our two-week vacation in Slovenia, Croatia and Italy. If you've been following our channel for a long time, you know that we love traveling with Rancho, our Belgian Shepherd. And in today's video, I want to bring you along and show you what our vacation was like. So the plan was to first travel to the Julian Alps in Slovenia, to the town of Kranska Gora, and from there we traveled to Istria in Croatia, and on our way back we stopped in the Julian Alps again, only this time it was on the Italian side. So we packed our bags and we set off on the journey. Our first destination was about 530 kilometers away, and since we made frequent stops because of Rancho, it took us around seven hours to get there. The place we stayed at was really nice. Our apartment was cozy and modern, very close to the city center with many hiking trails nearby. So a very good location. On the day of our arrival, we wanted to take a little walk to Lake Jasna, which is a nearby lake, but we actually got caught in a storm and we had to go back. And Rancho was pretty tired and I don't think he minded. On day two, we decided to hike to the Perichnik waterfall. It was a beautiful hike along a river called Triglavska Bistrica, and Rancho was thrilled to be able to cool down in the crystal clear and very cold river. You can access the waterfall from two sides. If you take the first path, you can only see the waterfall from a distance, which was the first path that we took. But then if you take a second path, you can get really close to it and you can even walk behind the waterfall, which of course we did. This waterfall is 52 meters high and it was created after the last ice age. We can definitely recommend visiting it. It's a beautiful place. So if you're in the area, don't hesitate and visit it. And if you decide to walk behind it, be prepared to get wet because there's water dripping everywhere, but it's completely worth it. Then it was time for a snack and since it was a very hot day, on our way back we all cooled down in the river again. And in the evening we went to Lake Yasna. Only the humans were allowed to swim since it was quite late and Rancho wouldn't be able to dry off but we let him off the leash just for a moment and he jumped in anyway. Lake Yasna is a man-made lake that consists of two interconnected lakes and it's a beautiful place with unbelievable views, pretty paths, small piers, you even have changing cabins if you want to go swimming. The water is super clean but also pretty cold. We both enjoyed taking a dip in it, but if you're sensitive to the cold, it's probably not for you.
On day three, we hiked up along the Vršić Pass, which is the highest mountain pass in Slovenia. We started the hike at this wooden chapel that was built during World War I, and from there we went up. The trail was nice and shaded by the trees, but then we took a wrong turn and we ended up here. We didn't mind though, because at least we could enjoy some very cool views. Like for example this mountain that has a hole in it. Then we returned to our trail and we continued on. We then stopped at this mountain hut uh, that also has a restaurant. It's just another gorgeous place surrounded by high peaks. After a little snack, we went even higher. However, after a while, we realized that the trail we had chosen was far from ideal and it was getting more and more difficult and also a little dangerous. And we decided it would be safer to just turn around and go down. So after the hike, we went swimming in Lake Yasna again uh, because we liked it a lot. And after that, we took a little walk around. We came across two mountain goats at the side of the lake. and then we had a bit of fun, and then unfortunately we had to say goodbye to Slovenia. There are a lot of other places we would have liked to see. It wasn't our first time in Slovenia and it definitely wasn't our last. On day four, we hit the road again and we traveled to Croatia. It only took us about three hours to get there. There it was very hot, so we mostly just relaxed, drank wine, swam in the sea and did nothing. And to be completely honest with you, we didn't enjoy our stay there much since there were so many mosquitoes that we couldn't sleep. They were there even during the day, so we couldn't read a book outside, so it was pretty unpleasant. 
and the apartment didn't have mosquito nets and it didn't look like in the pictures either. The price per night was the same as in Slovenia, but the two places were completely different. But we did do a few fun things. We visited Fajana, which is a charming little coastal town with uh, beautiful squares, uh, pictures, trees, and a pretty little harbor. So we walked around the town, we had a meal in one of the restaurants, and we had a good time. Then we went to Fajana again, but this time we decided to go sunset dolphin watching. It was a very relaxing boat ride that took a little over two hours and we were accompanied by seagulls. It was Rancho's first time on a fast boat and at first he wasn't sure what he thought of it, but then he became curious and he enjoyed some pets from our fellow passengers and in the end we even got to see the dolphins. On our last day in Croatia, we enjoyed some swimming in the sea and the last sunset walk on the beach. Then we had one more sleepless night with mosquitoes buzzing around our heads. And the next morning we headed for the Italian mountains and we couldn't wait. In Italy, we stayed in a cozy little tiny house, which was in a great location with an amazing view. And the village called Valbruna is very beautiful. It's surrounded by mountains and Austria is just a few kilometers away, so you can actually visit three countries in a day. And we really enjoyed our stay there. The weather was colder than in Croatia, which we really needed and appreciated. And we slept like babies in the little house. And even though we were super tired after not sleeping for a whole week, 
We did do some hiking too. On the first day, we had a really nice hike. Rancho suddenly had a lot more energy. Rancho took a bath in this tub of ice called mountain water. Uh, he just decided to jump in there and he had no idea where he was jumping and he landed in this tub with freezing cold water. But he didn't seem phased at all, which was quite funny. He just started drinking the water like nothing was happening. Then after a while we got caught in the rain and we decided to head back to the town, uh, to the local pastry shop that we'd seen earlier. We devoured our cakes and enjoyed some delicious Italian coffee while Rancho was recharging his batteries in a different way. Before heading back to the house, we took a walk around Valbruna and even though it's just a small village, it's definitely worth a visit. Then the next day, we took a gondola up Monte Lusari. On top of the mountain, there's a charming little village with a church and plenty of bars and cafes. And we went on a hike from there. And it's actually one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. The heart of the fight. I said, hey, yeah, 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts. I said, hey. the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey
At first, we were planning to hike down the mountain, but since we were still pretty tired after Croatia, we decided to get a return ticket and we went down on the gondola again. Then we had a nice Italian meal in a restaurant at the side of the mountain and that was it for the day. On our last day, we visited Lago del Prado or Lake Prado, which is a beautiful mountain lake that is situated in a high valley at an elevation of 969 meters. The lake is surrounded by mountain peaks and the water is super clear. Also a little cold, but very refreshing. And that was it. Then we got in the car and we headed back home. So thank you so much for coming along with us. We hope you enjoyed it. You can let us know in the comments which was your favorite part of our vacation. And you can also tell us if you travel with your dog. Okay guys, thanks for watching again and we will see you next time.